Hey guys, Skullflag44 here, bringing you a little something different, and it's something I like to call the username challenge. And basically what this is, it's kind of like the 404 challenge, if you've seen any other commentators do that, where you type in the seed 404 and you get this weird world and you play on that. But basically what you do is you create a new world, we can uh, name this the u oops, oops, username challenge. Um, and uh, yeah, you create a new world, and what you do is you type in your username, whatever your username is, with uh, like numbers from a phone. So like two is A, uh, two is A B C, three is D E F, four is G H I, and that good stuff. So I just thought this would be kind of cool. I don't know if anyone else has done this. I haven't really seen them do it, but uh, I just think this would be kind of a cool idea. So I'm just gonna type do this for me, and uh, you guys can see what kind of kind of happens and. Uh, I don't know, I think this might be a cool idea for a new Let's Play World if I wanted to do that. So, first, um, we have S, which is 7, and then we have K, which is 5, and then we have U, which is 7, and then we, no, not U isn't 7, it's 8, and then LL would be 5, 5, and then F would be 3, L would be 5, A would be 2, G would be 4 and then I just do 44 so that's my seed for my username challenge world create new world it creates a new world based on that seed I don't really know how that all works but it, it does it and we get this let's see what we get oh alright so it looks like we get a snow world here I just saw a squid over there. Yeah, I just thought this would be kind of a cool way to uh, to spawn a new world and everything. Uh, this one doesn't look particularly interesting, but uh, if you you can like keep trying to replicate it, and maybe eventually you'll find a good world because each time it's uh, it's a little different. For example, let's try one more time. Just delete this one. That one was very interesting, and we can create a new world. See what it, I'm trying to remember what it was. Okay, so yep, seven eight seven I believe. No, it's um seven. No, what am I doing? Seven five eight. Yes, and then uh, five five two. And um, no, what am I doing? Okay, I got I got to just stay on track here. So it's S seven. Uh, K five eight uh, U five or L L is five five. Then F would be the number three. L would be five. G would be four. Oh A would be two. G would be four four four. So I think that's let's just, let's just go with that and create a new world. And as you can see, this world will be should be a little different unless I uh, messed it up the first time I was trying. And, uh, yeah, so you might get some kind of crazy worlds. Yep, you can see this world's different. This one looks a little more interesting. Uh, but I always seem to get snow worlds. I've tried this, like, well, I tried this once before I rec started recording this video. And, uh, yeah, so I think that's a cool way to generate worlds. I have I kind of just made up it, made it up by myself. Um, so maybe you guys have seen other, you know, people do this or you've thought of this yourself. But I just, honestly, swear to God, I, uh, just thought of this myself, so... If I'm stealing this idea, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, no harm intended. Uh, but yeah, I just think that's a cool idea to generate worlds. Maybe you guys can try it out with your own usernames, and maybe you guys would think it's a cool idea to uh, start your own world or have me st have this as, uh, not this world exactly, but do this type of generation for my next uh, Let's Play world. So yeah, give me your feedbacks. Thanks for watching. I think this is pretty cool. Zombiecraft is coming tomorrow, so look out for that. The Zombiecraft tutorial, that is. And, uh, yeah. I will see you guys next time.